If you're looking to get into podcasting or even live streaming, finding a great dynamic mic is kind of key because it really gives you that rich radio podcast voice, but oftentimes that comes with a price point uh, that requires a heavy investment. But what's so cool about this mic we're going to be reviewing in this video, the Audio Technica 2040. It is a dynamic mic coming in at under $100. We're going to be talking about the features, showing some tests. So let's get into it. You got to just press record. So right now you are listening to the Audio Technica 2040. Uh, this is right up against my mouth and that's why I like how sleek it looks because it looks cool in the shot. Uh, but this is what it sounds like with literally me right at the mic. But because of its pickup pattern, as you notice, I'm going to start talking away from the mic, turning this way, and you can see how it's capturing the sound. And as I turn in and get a better uh, position on this, obviously bringing the mic as close as you can to your mouth gives it its best performance. But we are in a convention center, a convention hall, so it is loud. So that's what's cool about specifically dynamic mics. Now, these are mics you need to have in the shot, but we'd love to know your thoughts on what it sounds like. Let's get back to the showroom flow. And I'm here with Gary, who's the marketing director, and we're talking about their new mic, which is the AT2040. Can you tell me a little bit about this sweet mic for creators? Yeah, certainly. So this is pretty much, it's kind of a single purpose microphone, right? So this is gonna be for enhancing vocal character, right? It's also hypercardioid, and what that means is it's a very tight pickup pattern. And why is that important? Well, we know a lot of creators do not have treated rooms and treated spaces, so that's gonna help minimize a lot of the room noise that people hear, you know, that ambience that you hear, so it's gonna be a much more uh, present kind of vocal quality. Um, we've also taken into consideration that a lot, not a lot of people use pop filters. So this microphone itself actually has three layers of pop protection within the housing of the microphone itself. So there's a mesh screen, there's a woven disc in there, and then there's more uh, foam behind that. So you get this multi-layer pop protection built into the microphone. And a lot of times people will use like a boom arm like this, and you'll have that mechanical noise come up through the microphone. So to mitigate that, we actually put the microphone in an internal shock mount. So there's a lot going on for a fairly like low profile microphone. And again, it's XLR output. It does not require any kind of phantom power. So it'll go right into an interface or uh, mixer of your choice. Dude, that's so cool. I not only, I mean, even just at face value, I love how it looks. I think it looks really cool. So if you're doing video podcasts, even just how sleek and cool it looks. And like he's mentioned, dynamic mics giving you that rich radio podcast sound. A lot of people are after. Can you let me know uh, price points and it, does it come with any other kits or like, you know? Yeah, this is uh, $99 and you kind of get what you see here. You get the mount and you get the microphone. Um, this is going to be compatible with any mic stand or mic boom that you uh, would have already. It's got the, uh, it's called 5827 thread if you want to get nerdy out on it. And it also has a quarter 20 adapter if you have a different type of mount. So it's going to be, again, pretty much compatible with anything you're currently using. Love it. Great price for a mic that a lot of people may be looking for. Uh, would love to know your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you actually want to check out another video from us here at Think Media, go ahead and click or tap the screen. Can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.